All right, YouTube. Gonna do another Hot Wheels uh, wheel swap. So in the last one, just did the Land Cruiser here. Got the gold five spokes on from the premium uh, Escort Cosworth RS200. I just put those ones on the Mercedes uh, Unimog here. So looks pretty cool now. So put those ones aside, and I still want to do some some detail work on this one. Maybe like paint the tail lights, you know. Um, not sure if I can add some details or not. We'll see. Just simple, simple stuff, you know. But anyways, so I'm gonna be doing the Dodge van here. I think I'm gonna put these uh, these gray five spokes on there. These are off of some sort of premium model. I think it was off of a Nova wagon, like a pop culture. I just put them on this car just to store them here. Cause uh, I don't like to leave Hot Wheels without without wheels, even if it's one that I don't care about. Like I don't really care about this Bentley, but just wanted to put the the wheels on it, and just have something there so it can roll around. So let's get this one apart. Use the five sixteen five sixty fourth drill bit, and just uh, get a pilot hole started here. Let's see if I can get the angle better. There we go. You don't need to go super deep on these, just enough to get it started. See this one, I actually already did a few little custom details. I did the back window louver thingies, finished off the taillights, and then I did the little door handle there. It turned out pretty nice. I like how they put the door handle here, even though there's no, no door like this side. <laughs> it's funny. Alright, so again, just going to go off just to get bust the rivet head off of there. Well, that one came off actually really nice. You can hear it kind of peel off there. So that's all we need, hitting plastic already. There we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Just came right apart. Oops. Now this one, I might actually do some more details on. And give you guys an update on that. So this one, it's got a really nice interior. It's got a little go-kart in back. I don't know, I thought about maybe trying to, trying to paint some of that go-kart. Maybe like the front part, you know, it's got the wheels. Maybe I can try to do those black as best as possible. I mean, you're going to see it through the through the tinted roof so it doesn't need to be perfect you know but I don't know let me just add add a few little details I got some testers paints be kind of cool so I will think about it but right now I just want to get the wheels on here so let's go ahead and do that I'll take this one apart here got the little 256 screws in here I think they're 3 16 long or something You don't want ones that are too short because they won't reach, but you don't want ones that are too long. Otherwise, you got to drill holes all the way to China. And some of the cars don't have very long posts. This one's got long posts, so you don't got to worry about it. But see the Bentley here. This one's got a real short front post. 
won't be able to drill very far otherwise you might come out the hood but the back one's nice and long so but yeah if you got a got some cars that you're working on you might run into shorter posts and you got problems with uh getting the screws in them let's go ahead and pop these wheels out of here just like that like i said these ones were already from another model and i actually had to mo modify the axle length so it's music wire that i use i forgot what size it is i have to look it up but i got it from a hardware store and then you just put a dab of super glue on the end and the wheel doesn't come off if you yank on it really hard it will come off but yeah if you're not not pushing it too hard you know then it's gonna be fine it'll hold up just fine So to get the, the axles out of the Hot Wheels, sometimes it helps to use a fatter screwdriver like this one. And like I said, just give it a little twist. A little twist, pops right out. Let's see if this fits in here. I just kind of eyeballed these ones. Look at that, perfect fit almost. It's pretty good. One quick thing you can do to see if a uh, axle is going to match up, you can just take the two Hot Wheels that you that you're looking at and just kind of match up the bases, kind of like so. And you can see right there if, if the axle is going to fit because Hot Wheels uses a lot of the same size axle lengths, so you usually get pretty lucky if you pick the right ones. You know, it is possible to do spacers. Some people do axles different ways. This is just the way that seems to work best for me so far. Just go ahead and push these back down. You don't have to do this. But it helps when you're reassembling. The axle doesn't want to just fall out. Alright, so now I'll put the car back together the van let's go ahead and put your windows in actually i forgot something gotta finish drilling it out so we gotta finish drilling out the posts here so you go ahead and get the drill bit started see that hole's already there from when we were drilling earlier I will say these 564 drill bits, they uh, they wear out pretty quickly. This one's actually brand new, I think, so that's why it's going so well. Some of them, it'll take me quite a while to drill these out because the drill bit's so worn out. Like I said, you don't need to go super deep on these because... Uh, Sometimes the post actually hollows out like this one, so you got in far enough and the post is actually hollow inside there, so it's fine. You can still get threads in there, obviously not a problem, but you don't need to go super deep in these because there's just no reason to. The screws aren't that long anyway, so there you go, ready to put some threads in there. I just use a little oil cap. Or like a, a cap for a bottle of oil. Just have a little bit of oil in there. I think it was like 30 weight. I don't know. It doesn't matter what you use. Any sort of oily lubricant. You could probably use WD-40 if you want. Just helps to pick up metal shavings and help the threads cut clean. All right, now we're ready to reassemble. Drop the windows in. Drop the interior in. And this is where it's kind of nice to have the wheels in there nice and tight with the tabs pressed down because then you can just put it in like this. If the wheels want to fall out, then it makes it a little bit more difficult.
I'm just gonna steal the screws from the Bentley, that'll work. That Bentley's kinda ugly anyways. But, I still wanna put wheels on it. Sometimes around Christmas places they'll take do donations and I'll donate some of the old Hot Wheels I have that I stole rims off of and I'll, I'll have them put back together properly like this, you know. Alright, I think that was a good call. This, uh, this looks pretty good with here, with these rims. I think it looks nice. Honestly, I have, I've had these wheels for quite a while. I've tried them on a few different models. I had them on a couple different Porsches and I don't know, they just never looked right, but I think they look really good on this van. So let me know what you think, if you like it, if you want to see more. I've been making Hot Wheels Customs now for, I don't know, it had to, has to have been a couple years at least now. And uh, this is the first time I've ever really filmed any of it, so let me know if you guys like this and you know, make some more. See ya.